Welcome to the Not Nerd Show. I'm Nate Heath, and we are here to help you tech better. Here with me, as always, Mr. Dave Baylor. Howdy there, Nate. Um, Hello. Pray tell, where are you in some Wes Anderson <laughs> this movie? Is my, yes. Yes, I'm not using my green screen again. I am in... Oh, look at that. California. California. Now, Spring break a... 2024. Don't adjust your video settings. That is a little bit of redness from that that glowing thing that's oh, up yeah. in the sky sometimes. I wouldn't know about that. Do you remember what Oregon. that's called? Hey, uh, is that yes, a new hat yes. or did you purchase this? It is. Previously. Oh, I did not purchase it on the trip. I had this one, but I did take the tags off of it to wear it for the show. I had been holding. Oh, producer Todd, uh, LOL has jo he's joined the chat. LOL, they beat me to the Wes Anderson joke. And, yes, and I, full uh, disclosure, it was Nate, unintentional. Nate beat me to the Wes Anderson yes. joke earlier. Yes, I was recycling. pre-show. Yes, uh, I am at uh, Indi in Indio, California, at the World Mark Resort. Yes, I've just doxxed myself. Please refrain from autographs tomorrow when you see me at the pool. If if somebody listening or watching to the show, watching to the show, watching the show, watching right now, to the show, is at that hotel, go say hi to Nate. Yeah, yeah. I think it's okay. Yes. The chances of yeah. that happening are zero 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 yes point. outside of zero. my family that are yeah. trying to tune in but i will let i will forewarn people the internet here is not amazing uh i've had no several now, discussions this is a hotel it's a resort that's been around probably 20 years and my brother and i were discussing and i'm guessing they probably locked into it's kind of remote there are housing developments moving this way, but even the cell signal on my phone, oh, I'm actually getting three bars for the first time in the trip. Uh, and I got a text message confirming my family's watching, but I have both T-Mobile and Verizon service. My Verizon's currently at one bar, T-Mobile's at three bars, and the Wi-Fi, I've been doing some testing, it's about oh. seven down and seven up, uh, which- Seven and they, down and seven up. And they used to charge you, like my parents being part of the timeshare, they would get like five users for the Wi-Fi and then you could purchase additional users. But now it's just free. So, uh, oh, I'm looking on the live video. I'm my, yeah. oh, there's my feedback. One of your feedback. view, your new view crapped out. So I turned it off to ah. go back to your old view and then I tried it again. I don't know what was happening there, but. Nice, nice. Well, we do have some technology to talk about. That's why we're here. That's why I'm taking time away from my family and warm weather on vacation. I could be in the hot tub right now. Yeah. Uh, but there is plenty of technology news to talk about. But before we get to the big uh, government versus Apple and big tech stories, uh, I do want to remind people, I finally remembered to do that. It was on my calendar this Sunday, March 31st. Not only is it Easter, yeah. it is also World Backup Day. You do and as we oft talk about, one backup is none backup. That's right, Nate. You can't move forward unless you back up. Behold the power of backup. Yes, yes. And I don't have it there yet, but I will put a link in the show notes to, I believe it's just worldbackupday.com. They have a website with some great tips for backing up uh, on your iOS devices. I highly recommend iCloud Backup, uh, unless you want to make it more difficult on yourself. And on computing devices, we highly recommend Backblaze. Yes. Uh, Backblaze, which I think now is $9 a month, but $9 a month for a piece of mind. Unlimited backup. I have terabytes of data stored at Backblaze. They are not a sponsor, but you can find a link to them on notpicks.com where you should go for all your shopping, previous pick of the week, and other needs. Yes, you're, um, <laughs> Dave plays with my video location. <laughs> well, it, uh, I'm yes. toggling it back on and off because 
the bandwidth is so small. Like if your mustache moves a little bit, I think it uses too many pixels or something like that. Uh, so that's probably. What's I will mean. hold perfectly <laughs> still no. the rest of the show. No, don't do that. I'm just, I'm just warning our listeners. I will practice viewers. my ventriloquism. <laughs> hey, I could do that a little uh, bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so what do we got next on the agenda? Yes. So everybody. And I've had several people ask me, you know, the government is suing Apple. What's going on? Or, you know, are they done for? And uh, so I actually pulled up a couple different stories on this. The first one um, is from sixcolors.com. Jason Snell, who, uh, as he says in his article, has been covering Apple for at least 30 years now. Um, and the U.S. Department of Justice, 15 states, and the District of Columbia sued Apple on Thursday. Uh, and he said, while I'm not a lawyer, I've written extensively about Apple for 30 years and just read all 88 pages of the full complaint. Here are some initial reactions. And uh, so basically, they're trying to sue them under the Sherman Act. I'm trying to... The Sherman Antitrust Act, which is meant to specifically regulate monopolies. Is and that's where that he discusses that it is quite a stretch. That, did he that, that Sherman tank? Is that the same guy? Yes, probably. <laughs> He's probably related to shrapnel. There's a callback to a <laughs> previous show. Uh, defining monopoly. Yes. You have a board game, which yes, has indeed. properties all the way around it. And cards in the middle, that's Monopoly. That's about how much I know about it. So, yes. I have an. Yes, yeah. So, articles. basically, that Apple has control. There seems to be a delay. Please oh. uh, tell us your wish. Yes, a little bit. Yes, well, and Jason's article, he kind of breaks down some of the things, and uh, mostly that it's a real stretch in some of the areas to consider Apple a monopoly. Um, they're trying to say that because a new submarket, the performance smartphone, which pushes Apple to about 70% of the market in terms of unit sales, which I would still say that's probably not a monopoly. Like I don't, does anybody think of Apple as a monopoly? No, I mean, the only... I mean, the U.S. government does, but... <laughs> the only thing... This is, I have opinions, of course. I am an Apple fanboy, but my logic is telling me that people have a choice to either use Android, which is more of a monopoly than Apple, um, or Apple stuff, and you can choose. If you want to share documents back and forth between other platforms you can if you want to communicate back and forth with other platforms you can if you want to go into the store and buy an android phone or windows pc you can there's nothing the, the whole like locking people into i gotta fix this your your thing went away again um the whole idea of locking people into an ecosystem is how do you how do you make a good ecosystem without, um, how do you say, how do you make a good e ecosystem without giving people the ability to be interoperable between their various devices and stuff? And the way you do that is by uh, linking things together. So anyway, it makes no co cognitive sense to me why people think it's a monopoly. And they don't even have the largest market share, which is weird, but... I'm not a lawyer. Yeah. I'm not the U.S. government. No, no. And I I mean, I've heard several people talk about this since it came out Thursday. And it, it really seems like, yes, with Apple, there are a few things where they're pretty strict. Like, one of the complaints is about how the Apple Watch, like other smartwatches can't have as much functionality as the Apple Watch. But Apple makes the Apple Watch. They can make it work better and yeah it's like how much i don't know i don't think they're a monopoly and again like you i'm partial 
partial to apple uh, and well, there might be some meat on the bone here but i feel like a lot of it is kind of grabbing at straws here well what about the samsung smartwatches they don't work well with apple devices just like apple watches don't work i mean you know what i'm saying there it's not one party yeah. doing all this stuff all of them do this so i don't know why they're picking on apple yeah yeah and well and another important thing to remember here is we already had the uh, Epic versus Apple case where that was more directed at the App Store where there might be some more things but that was found not to be you know it wasn't judged against Apple so now it's like okay let's make an 88 page accusation of every other thing even if we don't understand why saying they're a monopoly so I, I don't know it's it's gotten a lot of press, but uh, I think it might just kind of fizzle out, and by the end of it, it's not going to be going to be that big of a thing. Well, it's funny that <clears throat> people are asking you, "Is Apple going to go away?" Um, Apple is bigger than many countries on planet Earth, so if a country is not going to just disappear overnight, I don't think Apple will. <laughs> they have so much money; yeah. they can exist for yes, a while. Yes. And uh, producer Todd says in the chat after he said uh, maybe Nate should turn his camera off. That might help with the audio leg, which I replied rude, but I don't know if he's just particularly turned off by the Wes Anderson like background I have going on. But well, he I also think he's said talking about the bandwidth would be safe. Yes, well, yes. Uh, we're not turning my face off, Todd. Come on. Uh, but he also said, from what you showed on screen for the article, it looked like they want to stop Apple from attempting a monopoly, not that they already were. I don't know if that makes a difference, but what is I this don't know how report? you sue, yeah, sue somebody because <laughs> they want might become a monopoly in the future. Yeah, that seems a little dangerous. You, sue, you, um, you arrest every person who walks on the sidewalk because they might jaywalk across, run across yes, the street. Yes. Uh, but I did get, want to give a little bit more context on this, and I found this article from uh, January of this year, and it said, last year, big tech companies, Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, Meta, and Microsoft, received about $3.04 billion, with a B, dollars in fines for breaking laws on both sides of the Atlantic. As of seven days and three hours into 2024, they had already earned enough revenue to pay it off. So uh, to give you some perspective, so and it has a chart on here, um, how long it earns, long it takes these companies to earn one billion with a B dollars. Uh, Alphabet, the parent company of Google, uh, one day, five hours, 35 minutes. Amazon, 16 hours, 10 minutes. Apple, 22 hours, 50 minutes. Meta, three days, three hours and 35 minutes. And Microsoft, one day, 17 hours and 20 minutes. So uh, when you see billions of dollars, um, that's a couple days worth of of revenue yeah. uh, for these companies. And it also shows the 2023 font total fines there uh, for I all the it, companies. So it does hurt their bottom line, but it's not like they can't recover. They just have to exist one more day and they can recover from their loss. Yeah. Pretty yeah. dumb. They should be yes. uh, pretty like, dumb. Well, how do you feel? What do you feel like uh, people with, rich people with sports cars who drive a hundred miles an hour down the road uh, who can just pay the ticket. Cause it's like five minutes of their salary versus, you yeah. know, a stay at home mom who's living in government housing gets the same ticket. And it's like 30% of her monthly income, you know? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, uh, Old Yetup has joined us in the chat and he said, hey, it's a list of other companies that are monopolies. Very uh, true. So, yes. And I didn't see uh, the first company that came to mind for me would be Xfinity. Mm. Uh, Comcast oh, Xfinity, monopolies. which seems to have some. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, um, but, and not to say, well, we, 
we are U.S. centric, but we've had a lot of stories and we will continue to have stories out of the European Union. And uh, the next story that I found, Apple, Meta, Google probed by EU under new digital competition law, the Digital Markets Act, which we've kind of talked about a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's it feels like it's a competition between the US and the European Union to see how much money they can squeeze out of all the tech companies. Yeah, now, I'm not saying all of what they're doing is bad. There are corrections these companies should make, uh, but yeah. at the same time, it's, it seems like it's nonstop. Hey, the Wall Street Journal wants me to pay. That's pretty funny. Yes. I wouldn't, oh, if old. I had to pay for print media, I sure wouldn't choose them. Anyway. That's but they have a limited offer, one dollar per week. Wow! What a deal! That's what about a deal! Seventy-five cents a week more yes. than I'm willing to pay. Actually, it might be worth twenty-five <laughs> yes. cents and, uh, a week. I did if have... I don't have ads. Yes. Well, that's that is true. That's what they're betting on. Um, I do have one more link in there that just uh, talks a little bit more about the Digital Markets Act, the DMA in the EU and talk about how it will work. Um, I don't understand all of it, but uh, they have put laws in place to restrictions on digital gatekeepers, messaging services and social media, um, uninstall preloaded applications. Uh, so there's all kinds of stuff. So if that intrigues you, please find the show notes uh, and read to your heart's content on the Digital Markets Act. Yes. Uh, and producer Todd, I love oh. this new segment of comparing new and old technology with Dave at 4K and Nate in occasional 144p. <laughs> yes, that's our... Uh, and this is Dave This here. is what the DOJ wants to do to you. This is Dave here uh, reminding people, all the links are in the description. And be sure to like and subscribe back here on this right here right there look how seamless that was yes i there oh look at that i have things under control and i love yes this yes if you were watching later nate. you can get all those links and i can insult nate about 30 seconds before <laughs> yes. he hears it Oh, that's, that's delightful. Well, I, two other quick reminders. Next week, we are planning, unless there's some big major news, to do our special uh, Who is Mr. Beast episode that we discussed <laughs> last week. Um, and the other thing was, oh, let us know in the comments if you are more likely to join us live on YouTube at a different time. We're usually at 6.30. We're doing 7.30 this week. But if there is a time in the future that works better for you let us know because we might adjust our showtime in the future uh but you know what we're not going to adjust dave's pro tip of the week man my pro tip's going to carry the show just like my video am i right mm -hmm. well, my uh pro tip actually nate this might be good for you on on uh your holiday but yeah. I wanted to remind people something that I found online, and I'm just going to show you here that if you have an iPhone or an Android phone or whatever, and what was I listening to? Oh, the Mark and Todd cast. That's funny. Hey, oh, um, little uh, plug. What I do there. Anyway, you can charge <laughs> faster if you put your phone in airplane mode. Of course, it's you know it's going to shut off your cellular and make your other radios just not broadcast as strongly but the act of putting your device in airplane airplane mode while you're charging it will help it to charge faster because those radios are not outputting a hundred percent signal they're they're dialed back a bit so that's it that's the tip we're making it quick today because you know bandwidth 
issues. Yes, and yes. The internet, we might run out of <laughs> internet here. And I will say, since I am traveling, uh, if you want to take it a step further and you know you're really going to need your battery later, it'll charge even faster if you just turn off your phone. Um, but I had a bonus pro tip today. Um, I was at the pool most of the day using my phone and I was taking some pictures in the water, taking some pictures underwater, having a lot of fun with it. Well, my battery was very low and I came back to the room and I plugged it in. I got that dreaded water warning mm. um, that I couldn't charge my phone. And so I was like, okay, I'll let it dry out. But I did have my uh, little anchor MagSafe battery pack and you can still charge via MagSafe even if you have some water down here uh, that won't let you charge your phone. So nice. uh, next time you take your phone swimming, remember that afterwards if you need a little charge. All right, I'm going to try and... to the camera again here real quick. Okay. <laughs> try. Oh, I jumped up. You, you were not in the right place. There we go. Yes. But I might look better, and that doesn't matter because it's time for everybody's favorite segment, Just the Headlines. Yes, and... Oh, and uh, oh. Wes already put his vote in. Sorry, he said 24-7 uh, Not Nerd is my vote. So okay. we're going to need a couple more people going to notpicks.com. Well, I can just uh, before leave before we can the web go browser going twenty four seven. Just leave, uh, just leave the yeah OBS. It'd going be about back. as valuable as our content, anyways. This will be your view. Yeah. This is what you'll see. Ah, just the headlines. Do we have some driveway cam? We do. We do. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll... <laughs> Dave disappeared there for a second. I'll. Why don't you start off, Nate, so that. Uh, because I can hear you well, yes. and we're delayed, so yes. just, you might just have to... Oh, that, that yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah. Okay, yes. I uh, And I should have set up a camp to look outside and get some palm trees, but too late for that. Bad internet. It is time for Just the Headlines. In 2022, ringtone sales still managed to generate 11 million with an M dollars. Zero were mine. Ron DeSantis signs bill requiring parental consent for kids under 16 to hold social media accounts. Come on, Ron. Whew. Tennessee becomes first U.S. state with law protecting musicians from AI. Hmm. Nicholas Hawken, Hawks, 39, becomes the first in England to be jailed for cyber flashing. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, moving right along. Commercial Bank of Ethiopia glitch lets customers withdraw millions. Uh, where's that at again now? No, never. <laughs> Ethiopia. Oh, okay, they can't okay. catch a break over there. <laughs> well, I think a million Ethiopian things is worth five bucks. Yeah. I digress. Reddit shares rise 30% to start week after social media company's initial public offering for the stock market. And full disclosure, I bought a little. Nice. I was wondering. I was wondering. And last but not least, Formula One chief appalled to find team using Excel to manage <laughs> 20,000 car parts. Yikes. Oops, and those are just the headlines. Wow. Okay, and let us move on to our takes of the week. The first one, I just wanted to mention, uh, I heard somebody discussing, we were talking about Apple and the AI and possibly working with Google's Gemini while well, they've been talking to other people. And somebody had a good point that um, they might use 30 different of these back-end services and then create the front-end experience because they're a monopoly. Um, but then you would have access to like an image generation or a text generation or a video generation. Uh, and I'm moving a whole lot, which is probably making my video a whole lot worse. But I did just want to mention that, that, you know, they're not going to not have any other AI thing besides Google Gemini or anything. It's going to be mm -hmm. uh, a whole bunch of things. 
um, put together. So that might be one possibility why we, we're hearing those stories. Yes. Um, and this next one is just wild. Trump's Truth Social valued at more than $9 billion, with a B, dollars as it goes public in New York. So it was part of a, uh, do we call them SPACs? Uh, one of these group weird, um, SPAC, I believe is what they're called, uh, where it's, um, they put kind of like some stocks or it's like a thing, but, um, yeah, uh, Truth Social, which I don't know how it could possibly be worth, uh, $1 billion, let alone $9 billion, um, but uh, it is now available to get some stock. In full disclosure, I did not buy any stock in True Social. Mm, yeah. um, but uh, yes, the people are saying that it is giving Trump quite the windfall. Mm. Uh, yeah, SPACs, uh, special purpose acquisition companies or SPACs, such as Digital World, raise money from investors through IPOs before typically searching for a company to take public. So they get investors, they find a company, then they're able to take it public, the investors get money back. It's a whole nother one of those stock market things that is- Sounds like a Ponzi uh, Wild and crazy. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, something similar to that. And then I did want to bring up, because I've seen it just about everywhere, that um, it was last week they released a video uh, featuring the first uh, guy to have the Neuralink, Elon, Elon, easy for you to say, Elon Musk's Neuralink, which is a brain implant. Yes. Uh, and he was able to play chess on a computer using just his thoughts. He is uh, paralyzed, and so he doesn't have um, the ability to use his hands, at least. Uh, but he was able to control a computer with this implant, which hmm. is some wild technology. Yeah. I mean, imagine the possibilities. You could yes. drive your car. You could, you could do this while you're typing a letter. I mean, how awesome would that be? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Producer Todd it's, uh... says... To be fair, Trump's stock started at $78 a share and ended up at 52 Yes, yes. Well, that's the uh, stock market for you, but I'm sure he, he cashed in uh, yeah. as quickly as possible for his yeah. other... But I will remind people, we are the most nonpartisan tech podcast on the internet. That's true. Uh, right so we middle. will not get into that any further. Down the middle, equal opportunity, and we try to avoid it as much as possible. But uh, sometimes, sometimes you just got to mention it. Sue's apple, you got to talk about the government. Yes, yes. And uh, Dave, you found a link to this website for our bonus odd take. We are moving right through the show tonight. Um, and I, somebody was just referencing the, a family friend the other day, and I thought we should make sure everybody knows about it. Uh, it is tunnel to the other side of the world and yes. apparently my internet doesn't work oh there we go i've got <laughs> what your internet doesn't um, work well <laughs> yes yes uh so you can find it at antipodes map p-o-d-e-s map.com so why don't you tell us a little bit about this dave yeah so uh, there have been other things like this before but what you do is you put in your address and it'll show you the exact position opposite you on planet earth now for those of you who are flat earth people it's just going to be dirt under like whatever is underneath the pancake yes but yes for, turtles uh, all turtles, the way down it'll be a turtle but for most uh people with regular cognitive thinking skills it's uh a, an obloid spheroid or something like that uh it's at the opposite side so we have the misfortune yeah. here in the Oregon area to be opposite just water that is not exciting at all so no. let's zoom out let's go somewhere else let's go to yeah let's go to Kansas my state I grew up in is it still in the ocean <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh spoiler alert there's a whole lot of ocean out Pacific, there Pacific oh I think I have to I'm not doing something 
I'm not. See, my location <laughs> is still New York, so I need uh, to. I need to figure out how to do it. Uh, oh, here we go. Put, I'm gonna go up here and let's go. Uh, Weskin, uh, Weskin, Kansas. There we go. I was doing it wrong. So the antipode of Weskin, Kansas, is more water. It looks like. Let me zoom out again. Oh, look at that. It's in the middle of uh, the, what is that, the Indian Ocean? Uh, okay, so let's try somewhere else. Let's try Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. Let's see if that comes up. Everybody's oh, and outside of our uh, live notes, while you pull that up, um, I'm getting text messages from my wife who's watching uh, with the family. And she said, guess we need to cut off the stash so you get a better connection. No, this brings me 5G, <laughs> baby, right here. Uh, and then I don't know my brother said here. Android has a bigger global market share, which is very much correct. Uh, that Android globally is uh more than ios did you find me land yet <laughs> opposite of anywhere i'm trying to find there we go i can't spell australia for a u s t r a l i i think i had a typo <laughs> that i couldn't see that i kept hitting um anyway opposite uh, melbourne is just more water there's some ocean or some islands over there uh what would be a good one Let's try, uh, let's try yeah, so Paris. Let's try Paris. Contrary Paris. to popular belief, everywhere you dig does not get you to China. <laughs> no, That's, look, more water. We often uh, think is it more water. See, there's so much ocean. <laughs> there is, close, though. If you're searching from land and the world is, what, 70% ocean, there's a good chance if you're searching for a place with land. Uh, what if you do Hawaii? And then the opposite of Hawaii, maybe you'll get some land. Maybe. I went the wrong way. So, uh, <laughs> Honolulu. I don't know how to spell Honolulu. Uh, how about... And this week in watching Dave spell. It's, it's worse when people are watching. Oh, hey, look at that. Hey. We found one. Hawaii, the... Antipod of Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii is. It's got to be a settlement or something close to there. No, there's just nothing. It's the middle of Africa, in the. Hold on, gotta get my old man glasses. San Cuyo, <laughs> Tuashinagaro concession. So there you go. We did it. So Very we nice. Up. We found one. You know what else we did, Dave? We lost all of our listeners. <laughs> yes. It's time for our picks of the week. <laughs> Got a mini microphone, not my usual echo phone there. Is that, it looks like a makeup brush, honestly. <laughs> yes. No, it is actually a microphone. Oh, look at that. There you <sighs> go. Look at, there's a better. Oh, look at that. Maybe a future, future pick of the week. There, giving me a sneak peek. Two forty P resolution is coming through nicely. <laughs> yes, nice. What? Now hold on a second. Remember when I was at camp last summer and we did a show? Wasn't my video better than what you've got here? Or did we just? Uh, I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look at that. But that's in the middle of nowhere, and they were using Starlink. Oh, Starlink is so much better than what I have here. I don't understand. Why Miles ahead. Hotel. My, I was talking with my brother earlier about the internet here at the resort, and he said Starlink was the best internet he ever had, the fastest. Yeah. Uh, every time you see that weird red go across there, it's because of the <laughs> the f feed that I was using crashed and i go back to the old feed so i'll just leave it on the old feed but the problem is the old feed is potato quality uh not not that the new yes. feed is any better but oh well i'm gonna leave well it let us yes let us just keep moving on and put this episode in hindsight as soon as possible well you'd remember you remember me talking about or you talked about world backup day 
And I, my yes. pick of the week is related to the World Backup Day. Um, let me describe quickly what I have. I have this uh, uh, this device over here, which has got a bunch of hard drives in it. And you can put in various sized hard drives and get a um, like a total size. Um, but it's best if you put in put in hard drives that are the same size so that they're this the data is distributed evenly. And so when it goes to expanding, it gets really expensive. And so I started out with like a bunch of two gig hard drives. And then I upgraded two terabyte to like, or terabytes. Sorry, terabytes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, no one, Real small. My wristwatch has more data than yes. that. Uh, so, so I'm incrementally updating. And so I pulled the trigger and have a short story related to it. But I purchased uh, two 12 terabyte WD. Nice. <laughs> yes, as we got our, got our balloon reaction. <laughs> balloon reaction going here. Um, and the story is that one of them didn't work. And so I just sent it right back. I, I got on line i went to amazon i said return this item and they asked what the deal was i hit submit and the next day it showed up on my doorstep the new i didn't even send Ooh. the old one back yet wow and then the day after that i took it over to Coles, which is just a few blocks away handed it to the lady and walked away so my pick is kind of these hard drives uh and i'll go back to those real quick but also amazon and how convenient it is to purchase products, uh, it it honestly was easier than dealing with local stores like Walmart or something <laughs> like that. Because I have to talk to a person. I just <laughs> typed a few things and yeah. then submit. So uh, this hard drive. So this is a bare hard drive. You would put it in a, an external enclosure. I have the array in the back here. Um, and you'll notice that it says renewed on there, which mm. also is reflective of the $95 price because a 12 terabyte drive yes. costs. 267 is what the new price was so you can save a lot of money now these are drives that have been in servers before and if you go and look it has like 96,000 hours on it um, which is like two years I looked it up I can't remember what it was but it's a couple years of, of usage and they're rated for much longer than that but it allows cheapos like me to get high capacity drives, put them in my array. And, you know, if one drive fails, I've got four other ones or three other ones to, uh, to do the heavy lifting. So there's not too much risk. And then I was thinking of a backup strategy since it is World Backup Day. The, or this weekend is, I'm thinking about getting a very large external hard drive because they sell, what did we see? like the 18 and 20 24 terabyte drives just getting one yeah. of those drives and backing up my entire raid array to that one drive and then hooking that one drive to a computer so that i can do backblaze unlimited attached oh yeah backup so that was going to be there my solution go. for doing an inexpensive online backup was so yeah. anyway more on that later but i should let you get Very to nice. your pick of the week yes yes uh well my pick of the week this week is a very simple little device as most of you know i am uh, a dj and also connect like the pile of audio cables that i just have with me on this trip for no reason uh, but this is a very simple little adapter we've talked about things in the past like the um iMic uh, audio device like a USB audio device uh, we've talked about other things but uh, I purchased this many years ago and I was like you know what I'm gonna give this a try so what it is it's just this simple thing a little Y splitter it's got a uh, headphone jack on one side and then two headphone jacks here and you will not be able to see it with my audio quality but on these two uh, one has a headphone symbol and one has a speaker symbol uh, so what I can do now when I'm DJing, uh, like at the marathon, I plug uh, one cable into the speaker one that goes to the whole sound system, 
one for my headphones, and it splits the audio through just the headphone jack uh, so that I can preview songs uh, in my headphones. I can have the music going out to the system, um, but it's very nice. A uh, little device, they're not that expensive, under 20 bucks. But if you ever need separate, I even thought about, I'm using my AirPods here in the show, but I thought about if I need to use uh, wired, I could have my little lapel mic go into the, um, or no, that wouldn't even work on this. Never mind, bad use case. If you need two audio outputs and you don't want to take up a USB-C port, which are precious on some computers, you can get one of these little adapters made by Tractor, um, and they are or Native Instruments Tractor 8-inch DJ cable for iPad, iPhone, so it'll work on those devices, but it also works fine on my laptop, and they are $9 uh, <laughs> with Prime 2 Day on Amazon, $9 with uh, 1,200 ratings, 4.5 stars, um, and they're designed for some of the Tractor DJ equipment, but work just fine with my my software and everything. So uh, wow. just a handy little cable that I was carrying around for a long time and I finally put it to use and it has made life a lot easier. You know what they say? One audio cable is none audio cable. So there you go. <laughs> yes, and I uh, take that to heart. Let's see how many audio cables can I put in my hand at one time. That's wow. that's what was in that's my backpack, neat. and neat. I'm sure there's more. Nate, I'm, you're going that's, to an intervention. That's how I roll on vacation. No. Dang it, this thing keeps doing that. Um, we're, there's going to be an intervention, and you, we're going to go through <laughs> that bag, and we're going to take out and only put the cables that you need in there. You never know what you're going to need, Dave. What? what if I need... I know... I well, know wired gonna headphones, need, that's always a good thing. You don't need any of those things. <laughs> well, will I use any of these things, and will I need them? Probably not. Is there a chance that I run into somebody at the pool that's trying to record <laughs> some audio and needs to borrow an adapter? That's I not can your only problem. hope because I'll have it for them. That's on them. Oh, it's a, you don't pack It's all them. my problem. All right, well, uh, anyway. I know. Intervention is neat. <laughs> we'll do that in a couple weeks. We'll have... Yeah. Uh, including my wife and then some other people on and having tech intervention with me. But if you would like either of those picks or a bunch of our other picks, like we mentioned earlier, head to notpicks.com. Uh, and when people uh, purchase through our Amazon affiliate link there, uh, we'd like to feature those in our Ramazon purchase section. And I would have to guess I know who this one is. It's the Madonna Song by Song paperback. Uh, now, I was torn on this because producer Todd loathes Amazon but loves Madonna. So when I saw Madonna on the affiliate links, anonymous affiliate links, I just had to assume it was Todd. Not that everybody doesn't need to buy Madonna books, Todd. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that but it just feels to me like this is something uh that todd would have purchased um oh and wes says maybe start a cable library that people can check them out uh yes that would be a good thing and also get rid of them dave and i talk off the air about someday having a big tech garage sale that oh man uh, we try to get so rid of some stuff. of that stuff so oh stuff. all the all the stuff. All well, the stuff. Uh, producer Todd hasn't uh, fessed up about the Madonna Song by Song by Mark Andrews, which I also feel like he might already own that book because he has quite <laughs> the Madonna collection. <laughs> yes, Mark Andrews and Todd Workoven, <laughs> uh, executive editor on that book. But that was our Amazon purchase of the week. So it's a great reminder to go to Not Picks, find an Amazon. Oh! <laughs> Producer Todd has chimed in, am I so transparent? Maybe it was Jared or Tyler that who bought the book. <laughs> no. Todd, it was you. It was you. It had to be. Uh, but thank you, Todd. Even though you loathe Amazon, you took the time to go through a not pick Amazon link when you were making a purchase. And he could have got uh, the Kindle they're... version for eight eighty seven and saved some money, but he'd have to read it on an electronic tablet. Oh. <laughs> 
So yeah, we know that's yes. not going to happen. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you've ever met Todd before. <laughs> um, but one way to define him would be analog, unless it's VHS. And he uses an iPod that doesn't have a screen, if you can imagine. Yes, that. yes. And he says, it's a great feeling to win the Ramazon purchase of the week again. Yes, we <laughs> like to. It's always fun to find out who's buying what, if you're willing to admit it, uh, he, on the uh, show. What he won was just street cred. He doesn't get any yes, yes, we compensation. We yeah. give you a round of applause. I will translate for your yeah. video. <laughs> a rectangle <laughs> of applause is that what's coming through? You know what we need uh, to do? Well, with that, yeah. what's that? Well, we needed to uh, pipe in um, some AI so that it could have done some real-time video oh. conversion of your crummy video. Yes. And maybe it could have sharpened it up. But yes, maybe next time. Yes, yes. Well, I won't be needed much longer. We will be able to do that and yeah. always be in perfect, flawless 4K. Uh, but with that, before the internet gets any worse, because more people are streaming here on vacation, yeah. get out there, enjoy the sun, and tech better.